Hello everyone. Welcome to Neural Data. I am Aditya and today I am going to talk about the backbone of a data science project. That is nothing but the life cycle of a data science project. Before moving ahead with this video, if you have got any query, please visit our website www.neuraldata.info. In my previous video, I have explained the overview of data science and the skill set required to excel this domain. If you have not watched that video, I request you to watch that first as that will give you an insight of different techniques and technologies used in this field. Now I will discuss about a proper roadmap which one should follow to handle a data science project. Then what are you waiting for? Let's get going. The very first pipeline of the project starts with knowing the business requirements. In short, what business needs? The need may be related to your client or it may be related to your own company. But what matters the most is that you need to identify the problem first. Like the requirement may be related to predicting future values or it may be related to predicting outcome whether it will pass or it will fail. Or it may be like uh, grouping similar entities for analysis. Or it may be related to finding anomaly like spam, ham of email. Or it may be related to providing suitable suggestions to customers, like in recommendation system if you know. Once we are done with understanding business requirements, we move towards collecting the suitable data. Here we make use of various methods to acquire data. Some of these are like web scrapping, where it crawls through the website. We can gather data from social media sites also. These data can also be gathered from the logs of web servers. It may be the server of application, website or anything. Another source of data is repositories. Famous one is like GitHub you must know. Data from simple excel file or flat file can also be collected. Data from IoT devices like smart TV, APIs can be gathered. Once we have collected the data, then we need to clean it as raw data is generally dirty or unstructured in nature and those data cannot be fed into the system directly. So there are some steps involved in pre-processing and formatting the data. Like if we talk about Apache Impala, it does not support ORC format. Sometimes due to memory constraint, we need to format our data. After formatting, we need to clean our data. Some of the process involved are finding corrupt, incorrect or irrelevant records or identifying the duplicate records that we don't need. Then comes the sampling part where we acquire a sample out of a population and do a statistical test to check the significance of the sample. And after that comes the transformation part which is a fundamental part of integration by ETL, you extract, transform and load tool like uh, Informatica kind of those tools. Now we have got data set, but there may be some features or variables present which is not useful in the data and they are actually not affecting the business requirement that much. So in this case we will just drop the feature from the data set and after this we check for the dimension also. So again after you know uh, dropping some features again we have got you know a huge number of variables then in that case we will go ahead with the dimension reduction technique where we reduce the number of columns, we reduce the number of variable without losing much of information. One such example is PCA, Principal Component Analysis. Now after this, once we get the data in a proper format, we go ahead with building model. There are three types of models based on target features. If the target feature, say requirement feature, is already given, then we go ahead with the supervised machine learning model where we will see about linear regression, logistic regression, decision tree, random forest, KNN, XGBoost. And if the target variable, target feature is not given, then we go ahead with unsupervised learning like hierarchical clustering, K means clustering, DB scan, PCA, uh, association rules, recommendation system, etc. Then finally we will discuss reinforcement learning which is based on principle where algorithm train using a system of reward and punishment. Once we select any model and tries to train it, there are some statistical analysis happens inside the algorithm where it selects the best parameter using hypothesis testing. Every single model created inside the algorithm is treated as hypothesis and the combination of all these models are called as hypothesis set or hypothesis space. 
out of all those it chooses the best model once we build our model we need to check the performance as how it works with different data set in real time scenario for this we have got the performance matrix for classification we have got matrix like accuracy precision recall f1 score and so on similarly for regression model we have got performance matrix like root mean square error mean absolute error mean square error r square error and so on similarly for clustering we have got adjusted r and score adjusted mutual information seal hotel once we find that our model is working fine with the other data also we move to the deployment part we can deploy our model by creating a rest api or we can use it in shared database also we can deploy it on web app or mobile app anywhere we can deploy once this deployment part gets over we need to monitor its performance like how it like how it is working in this real time scenario after deployment and that project should be maintained throughout its requirement period so whatever the business requirement we have throughout this period we need to monitor or we need to maintain this project we need to maintain the performance accuracy everything now whenever a new data set comes in we need to pre process the data and train the model on that data again and deploy it taking into consideration that the performance should not decrease improvement is the only feasible option we have so i hope you guys have got the overview of life cycle of data science project If you have liked this video then please like it share it and subscribe it thanks stay safe stay blessed